Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to go into the huge open AI updates that have just hit the press 20 minutes ago. This is huge for developers and also for certain use cases like large models and where you want to generate large amounts of very high quality content with one prompt. Let's get into it. OpenAI has just dropped a huge update for developers, but not just for developers, for everybody else as well. We all know that OpenAI 01 is probably the best model that exists right now. However, one of the problems with it was that it didn't have the largest output window. If we just scroll down a little bit on this model page, you can see it used to have 128,000. This is 01 and 01 preview. 128,000 um, input tokens, 65,000 output tokens. Now, this was something that kind of put, put a, a barrier for certain applications of this model. And also just, you know, for high level content writing, sometimes you need more than 128,000 input tokens. We did for Harbor, for example, Harbor required 200,000 to work properly. Um, so we couldn't actually use 01 until this update. However, if, if I just scroll, however, if I just scroll up here, you will now see that the new 01, which was released, you know, minutes ago, literally 15 minutes ago, has a new context window of 200,000 tokens and a new output max tokens, which is the largest of any AI model that exists right now. For context, this is six or seven times larger. No, it's not. It's 12 times larger than Anthropic uh, Claude Sonnet 3.5. This is an insane update, not just for developers, but also for SEOs, just for anyone that needs large amounts of output. Now, before we get overly excited, there is one drawback to this, which is the pricing. If I go on the pricing here, you'll see that the model for input tokens is five times more expensive, no, three times more expensive than Claude, and for the output, it's also three times more expensive for Claude. Now, this might put a dampener on some people's spirits. However, one, one thing is that this model is kind of worth the money just because of how intelligent and also how quick the model is. So for certain parts of your application, this might be the only way for you to do something, okay? So for example, one thing that I'm gonna do as soon as I get home, literally the second that I get home, is I'm gonna try replace the outline prompt in Harbor with this new O1 model. Now that will put the cost of every article up for us but I'm hoping that the cost will be not negligible, but like it will be, it won't be too big. So just looking at these costs here, the, the cost of adding that one prompt to Harbor, I would suggest would cost about $1 per article extra. But the increase in quality will be so ridiculous that I think it might be worth it. Now, I am gonna try that as soon as I get home. I'm, I'm gonna add the new O1 model just to the outline prompt of Harbor, just to see if it does improve the, um, the output, basically. Now, there are, there are a few more updates here. There's GPT-40 and GPT-40 Mini Real-Time, and there's also GPT-40 Audio. These are brand new updates that were literally just released as well. Now, GPT-40 Audio means that you can start to build multimodal applications yourselves, okay? So you could now build something that could listen to phone calls and put them in text and then summarize those phone calls, I believe using just one model, but I'm not 100% sure. So this, these models accept audio inputs and outputs. And can, okay, so no, th this is purely for um, audio. These models are capable of responding to audio and text. So GPT-40 and GPT-40 Mini real time these models are capable of responding to audio and text inputs in real time. What does that mean? You can now make an application that could answer the phone for you in five minutes using just one single model. Now, I'm probably not going to go into that in this video, but these three updates alone, especially for me, the O1 context window and the map, especially 
the Max Alpha tokens. This is huge for certain applications. This cannot be understated how much of an insane update this is for certain applications. This is the largest output tokens model that we have on the market right now. You could output literally an entire book with one prompt, okay, that would cost you $6, okay, because it's it's 100,000 tokens, 10% of uh, 1 million is, is um, 100,000, so 10% of 60 is $6. I'm gonna leave the video there, guys. This is some very. This is the most interesting update that I've seen from OpenAI's uh, Days of Christmas thing. Sora, I'm not that interested in, to be honest with you. I'm not really a video guy. I'm sure it's interesting to some people. I may look at it um, in the future, but just for now, this is such a good update. And you can see if you keep the costs low or the output tokens low, the costs are very, very low as well. So if you put a max tokens of 1,000 and a max input tokens of you know 5,000 or whatever, you're not actually going to be spending that much as long as the prompts themselves are quite short. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of this video, you're an absolute legend, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out. Watch this video if you want a completely unbiased breakdown of Gemini Flash 2.0.